Mountbatten Brailler. Communicating with a PC. MBCOM is a simple piece of software used to interface with your Mountbatten. It is easy to install and easy to use. MBCOM is menu-driven and is fully compatible with all popular screen readers. The paper bale that is normally removed can be reinstalled for embossing. It helps the paper stay in place. Lift the paper lever up, move the right margin adjuster all the way to the right and put the paper bale in. When you have put your paper in, readjust the right margin. The first thing you do is to connect the mount baton with your PC using a USB cable. Next, turn the mount baton on and then run the MBCOM. To begin a communication between MBCOM and the mount baton, you need to initiate the connection either by pressing a red button in the top right corner of the MBCOM or by going to the device menu and selecting Connect Mount Baton. A dialog box will pop up with information about the COM port your mount baton is connected to. Make sure the selection reads COM with a number, mount baton USB. Click OK. Another prompt will show up. Press Continue. You hear mount baton announce the connection and you are ready to interface with it. To disconnect MBCOM from the mount baton, you can go to the device menu and select Disconnect Mount Baton. Alternatively, click the green button labelled Mount Baton Connected. You will hear the Mount Baton beep and say OK. When you have created a file on your PC, you may want to emboss it and at the same time save it in the Mount Baton's memory. In the File menu, select Send Text File to Mount Baton. When the dialog box appears, Pick the file you want to send and press Open. Another dialog box will appear showing the content of your mount baton. At the bottom of this dialog box you will see the name of the file you are sending. We recommend you remove the extension TXT from the name. Press OK and the file will be embossed and copied to your mount baton. The Emboss File option allows you to emboss documents saved as text files but without saving them in the Mount Baton's memory. In the File menu, find the Emboss File on Mount Baton option. Select a file, click OK, and your file will be embossed. To speed up embossing, before you connect the Mount Baton to MBCOM, enter Command M to turn off the writing speed and activate the embossing speed. A text file to be embossed correctly in Braille needs to have certain commands embedded. The FE and FLIT commands have to be entered at the beginning and end of your file. Let's create a sample document with a variety of formatting commands. Note that many commands are toggles. You activate and deactivate them in the same way. Begin with centering by typing CE before and after the title line. The closing CE command has to be preceded by a hard return. When you want to retain spaces and tabs, you need to use the FSH toggle command. This command can be used for creating columns. In languages where contractions are used, there might be situations when you want to emboss in uncontracted Braille. The command FGR1 lets you switch from contracted to uncontracted Braille. Use FGR2 to go back to contractions. MBCOM gives you a two-way communication between your mount baton and your PC. MBCOM helps you either display or receive and save files stored on the mount baton. Prior to connecting your mount baton with MBCOM, you need to do the command BUSB that translates a Braille document into print. Both of these operations are available in the file menu. When you have saved a file, you can open it edit, or even print. Having finished your operations, disconnect the mount baton by pressing the rightmost green button on the MBCOM. MBCOM is also a chat program. Before you begin, 
make sure the BUSB option is off. When you do the command BUSB on your mount button, you need to hear off. Chat is enabled by opening the file menu and selecting chat. Mount button says back on, letting the mount button user begin the chat. Forward and backward translations can be activated either from the mount button with the tab and back tab keys or from the PC keyboard with the F1 and F2 keys respectively. The content of your chat can be saved for further use. After finishing the conversation, click File and select Save Display to File at the bottom of the menu. Provide the file name and choose the destination. Click OK and your display will be saved in a text file.